So over the last couple of weeks, I've been sharing how I've been able to hit driver consistently over 300 yards. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you some of the things I've been doing, but more importantly, there's no point in generating lots of club head speed and hitting the ball miles if you're hitting it way offline. A lot of people have been asking me, Danny, how are you able to hit it so straight? Well, I've been working with one of the best coaches in the world, Pete Cowan, and he's been sharing with me some real simple things, predominantly with the right, but also recently with the left arm and control and what this left arm does through the swing is vital in helping you hit your driver, in fact, any golf club, super, super straight. I'm gonna share with you what that is because I just know it's gonna help. Now, before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, it's one of your first lessons of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. So before we go into showing you how to gain some extra yards and club head speed with your driver, let me show you the first and the really important thing about how to make great contact and hit it much straighter. So what the best players are doing ultimately is controlling the balance of this club. There's, you know, we want to increase your club head speed, right? That's going to give you more power, but you've got to keep this under control and you do this by controlling this end, okay? The balance of it. So let me show you what I mean. Now, what you'll see with the best players is simply this. This club, as it moves back here, we're basically controlling the balance of this club. Poorer players, what they do is this. They'll swing the club inside very, very quickly. Now, suddenly what's happened here is this. The head of the club's taken over, the handle's moved outwards here, and they've lost control. Now the problem is the head's completely dominate the swing. The club's not in balance. From here, what happens, the club gets, is out of balance. It gets thrown from the top. There's your slice. All what happens is, is it drops down here, gets stuck inside, handles way out here, you get blocks and flip hooks, okay? The better players, watch this, they put a pressure on this shaft. And look at the difference now. When I push down, where's the shaft now? Completely beautifully in line. This is what they're doing all of the time. This is what I've been working on with, with Pete. So ultimately here, how do you get a sense of controlling the balance of this club so you can take the club beautifully back here, from here you can work it back in and then beautifully back to square. Let me show you. So a real simple drill to feel this. And I, look, a lot of times you see things, you think, how, the, how do these guys do this? Well, what I'm gonna do here, look, is this. I've just wrapped up a, a towel here and I'm gonna stick this, look, over the end of my golf club. And what this does is it adds a hell of a lot of weight to the end of your club. Now, what I love about this is in order for me to kind of, in a sense, counterbalance this way, I've got to do what? Put a force on this end of the golf club. So it's great at getting you to feel what a great player feels is this, pushing down. Look what I'm doing here, I'm pushing down with my hands, downwards here to counter look the weight of this club. From here, I have to keep pushing down and keeping the counterbalance because that head wants to do what? This, this is what poorer players do. They've lost control, then they're gonna come and get that over the top or underneath. Look at this, push down. Now suddenly, you'll see with the better players, they're working the club up, they're keeping pressure on this look. Now look, even that club's completely in balance. As we stake it here, the weight will start to drift and it'll start to fall a little bit. This is where you see the best players almost shallow in the club. From here, what the best players are doing here, they're simply gonna work that club look this way back to the ball. Now notice here, when I come back to the golf ball, I haven't done this. So here's the very first thing I want you to do to experience this. Literally put the towel in the end of your club, push down, really feel like you're having to push on this handle to keep that towel upwards like this. Now I love to start with the end in mind. I want you to do the same. Notice this, my lead arm is directly under my shoulder here. Now all I'm doing now is I'm gonna feel how this lead side look is turning around. It's pushing around here, keeps rotating around so the lead elbow is basically sitting downwards like this. Now, if you slice, the chances are you'll see a chicken wing here. Look, it's a difference. That is a very different motion. You've lost complete control of the balance of the club. You may hook the golf ball. Similar, you're not chicken wing it this way, but now you're chicken wing it this way here. So now your elbow's going up here, you have to flip it. Notice this, if my hand is here at impact and I'm pivoting here, I have got complete control of the balance of the golf club and you will too. So this is a really great way to feel it. So I'll get myself set here, pivot through here, really sensing, look at this, suddenly I've got complete control of the balance of that golf club, okay? This is where I want you to go to. Now, 
Now you know where to go. You can then start to get a sense look of what this lead side is doing look in the swing. So from here look, I'm controlling the balance of the swing. I'm winding it up here this way. And then all I'm doing is just unwinding it. Look, see it's almost this motion here. Unwinding it back underneath me here, continuing that motion all the way through. What I am not doing with this lead side is losing control here. That gets the club this way. Not there because then suddenly I have to do this and come over the top. Or if I get in here, I might react to the club and go into that place. So all I'm doing is I'm winding it up. Look at my arms rotating up to the top. And from here, and then rotating back underneath me. As I'm rotating back, I'm continuing that motion and that curvature of that lead arm all the way back and all the way through. Now do the whole thing with the towel. Wind it up here, look up to the top. Now the club wants to fall. What am I gonna do here? I'm not reacting up from here. I'm rotating back, look. Not by flicking my wrists. This structure stays and all I'm doing is moving the arm structure back to here. This then throws that club beautifully back to where it came with momentum. And look, I've got a beautifully straight club coming all the way through. Impact, okay? It's as simple as that. So this is a wonderful way for you to feel what's going on in your golf swing. So basically all you're doing with driver, or, or the irons for that matter is this. You're simply here, look, I'm controlling the balance of this club. Now it's a lot trickier, isn't it, with a driver because it's lighter, right? So all we're doing in reality is this, look. We're winding the club up here and then all you're doing here, look, you're not doing anything with the hands. That will happen naturally, your hands will naturally release. All we're doing is unraveling this club. So it's winding up, well, I've got the balance of this club. You'll see the best players here. The club will almost drop a little bit here, but then look from here, they start to unravel that club. And where's my hand going? My lead hand, it's going back underneath my body here. This gives me that kind of straightness for impact here. And then look, I'm holding that balance and look where I'm finishing, back in balance here. This is super important. So the sensation all the time is up, unravel, up, unravel. This is holding it here, but what I'm not doing is this. Losing control here, having to reroute it either underneath or here, okay? This is how you learn to hit driver super, super straight. So let's have a look at this in action. So when I'm working on this personally, you know, taking my session with, uh, with Pete Cowan, which I'll, I'll put a link up in this top right-hand corner. Ultimately, Pete talked about spinning the right arm down. A lot of people didn't understand that, but basically from my interpretation of this, it's really simple. When you're winding up here, ultimately, all I'm doing is unraveling my trail arm here, my right arm is straightening here. Ultimately, before I would drive, all I'm doing now, you see, can you see the curve of this? I'm working it up, I've loaded the arm here, and all I'm doing here, look, is working that back here, and I'm working it back, look, underneath me, and I'm holding the balance of this club. I haven't let that balance come up and dropped it. It's back in front of me here, and then look, I've still got balance on the way through, and look, as I turn through, I'm in balance here. So this is just the most, so I do it fairly quickly. It really feels like all I'm doing is this, bang, really spinning that right arm down underneath me here, and away we go. And you look at that there, look, 300 yards. Look at these numbers here, look, pretty zero, zero path. Zero face, everything is perfect. It gets me hitting these beautifully straight shots. Now what I'm gonna show you here is this. Once I've got this sensation, I want this club head speed up to really ramp up that power even further. So let me show you now how I take this motion and I start to ramp up the speed so we can get way above 300 yards. So if you're a regular subscriber to the channel, you've probably seen me use this before, but what I'm gonna show you now is, is how I'm using it with the added directional component, okay, super important. So let's start with this. Ultimately here, you know, one of the keys to power is, is you'll see me, I'm winding upwards. What I was doing previously, I see with a lot of players, is working around and around too much. You've got to, in order to kind of get this momentum going downwards towards the golf ball here, you've got to have the work up and down as a dominant force. So the way we achieve this, so you don't have to get too complicated, is take your towel here, okay, grip it down, just a simple bath towel wrapped up. And what I did is I'm really winding up the towel here so that the, the towel base is falling over my lead shoulder. From here, now this is the key thing, I've got to get those hands nice and high, but then what I'm doing is this, as I'm up here, wound up, I'm unloading those arms this way as I snap. I am not just randomly snapping like this. I'm unloading those arms 
in this direction, back underneath me, look, and imagining this circle with my arms. The path of my arms are working back down in front of me here, and then around. This is the snap, okay? So I'm winding it up, I might even pause, and I'm really sensing up, and firing it down. And I'm really sensing this motion, back and throwing the pressure back underneath my body here. I'm under control, I'm controlling the balance of the club. I'm not letting that balance go here. Makes sense, or throwing it this way, I'm throwing it down back underneath me, up, down. So, you'll notice as I've done this, and I've mentioned this a few times on the videos, look, I'm in my mid 40s now, so one of the things I do is to really help me achieve this kind of up and down motion is I really am happy, and a lot of my people who follow this channel, senior golfers, I like to kind of wind up and maybe even let that left heel come up off the ground here to help me wind up because it gives me a real essence when it's down, naturally to put it down and fire that down here underneath my body and then through. And people worry about, well, Danny, if you throw down, won't you hit down? Well, no, the difference with driver look, the ball position is position here, look, yeah? So when I throw down, my pressure here, this arm, is slightly behind the ball. This here, when I throw it downwards, if I throw it down here, the club's gonna come down, bottom out before the ball, bang, and that gets me striking upwards. So, let's see if we can get that speed up. I've been a lot more than 111 miles an hour. I can get that up to, whew, let's see, 118. Let's have a, have a smash. Back it up, up we go, wind it up, and then all I'm doing, look, wind it up here, and I'm really, in a sense, from here, this really sense that motion of winding back underneath me here. And you'll see with some of the best players, what do you notice? They're almost the bums coming out, why? Because this is helping me push force on that shaft. And let's give it a crack. So 115 miles to an hour club speed. So I've jumped it up. That came a little bit, look, out of the neck of the golf club, which is why it's only gone 300 yards, but see my speed's up there. But look at how straight I am with this as well. So what I'm gonna do now is this. I'm gonna ramp it up even more. But look at this, I'm not losing any direction because I'm keeping the club in balance. What cost me direction there, sorry, a distance, was hitting it off centre, but with my new Paradigm AI spoke driver, we can still hit the ball a decent distance. So let's give it one more time. I'm gonna really, really ramp up this motion here. Really feel I'm working. Look, up, down in front of me here, down and un pressure underneath me, and really fire that driver. Look at that. Got it almost to 118, 320 yards in total. But more importantly, look at these numbers. Speeds up, yes. My club path and my face to path. Unbelievably consistent because I'm controlling the balance of the club. Please, please, please. Get on over, get a towel. Multiple purposes, speed and direction. Go and check it out. Look, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends. And of course, look, if you'd like to see me actually get a lesson on how I generated this speed initially and got the, got the towel idea, check this video out right here. And of course, look, I'll put a free download practice guide in the description box below. But until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.